Kanske inte är så fin men den kan bli. Hej Novid! Hej Katie! <laughs> Loved your song. Everyone needs a little <laughs> song in the morning. <laughs> in the morning, it's afternoon, almost night here. Oh, well everyone needs a little song at night. You know when I need a you? song, when I, when, I need a, when I need a song is when I hear a song. I'll take it, I'll take it. How am I? I'll let you be the judge of yes. that. How are you? <laughs> I'm excited and calm at the same time, I think. Oh, yeah. good. You know, yeah. that's a great yeah. combination. Yeah. You've learned. Um, can I just speak out? Please do. Okay. So the way I experience that is, is that um, you're calm and excited at the same time. Is um, You've learned to really balance not getting too high, too low. There's a, a, a balance there emotionally that comes, you know, in my world, uh, that comes from understanding the mind. Mm. I haven't thought of that. I just think about my daughter because she often says that emotions don't take turns. Sometimes they come two at a time or as triplets. Oh. So she she actually taught me to to put them together to make them more... Uh, 3D. Uh, she uses the Swedish word for 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 the emotion of of happiness and sadness. So we could we could translate that into sappy. <laughs> yeah. Why not? When you're happy, why not? And sad I love time. that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know, when I experience sadness, it's um, on, you know, I recall experience sadness. It's been a while, but it is um, mm. first I saw it as um, as. Um, the war with reality, you know, I'm not getting my way and I'm just going to sulk, cry, uh, everything from on a scale from one to 10, even just mild to, um, and to, um, you know, one to 10. But then mm. when I began to question, I'm sad, is it true? Um, it, 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 it shifted everything. Your daughter's certainly onto something. You're you're wise yeah. to you're, you're you're wise to to hear the teacher in the house. <laughs> yeah, she's she's she's. I, I think she's the most most trustworthy guru I've met this far. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so so just let me um, thank you for coming on the How Can We podcast. I've been uh, longing to have you on for for quite some time. I'm so happy um, to hear that. And also, I, I'm looking forward to. Uh, welcome you to Sweden as well. You're coming here in the beginning of July, right? I am. Yeah, really looking forward mm -hmm. to that. Yep, yep. Yeah, I love, I love so, it. Feels like home. Yeah, you've been here before, right? Oh, yeah, many times. So so you're coming here, I believe it's the 6th and the 7th of July. Um, and uh, is that us? No. No, it's, 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 uh, it's from here. Oh, right. There, I, I, um, I think I'm good now. All right, <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm thinking, um, not everyone knows uh, Byron Katie in Sweden. Not everyone knows uh, the story uh, from where you came uh, and what happened to you. So, just let us start from the beginning. And when I say the beginning, I mean uh, BC. So before a cockroach. Okay. Okay. Depression. Yeah. yeah. In, yeah. To sum it up in word, one word, depression. Another word, agoraphobic. Mm. Another word, mm. un, uh, suicidal. Another word, lost. Mm. Um, just the, the suffering, you know, waking up in the morning to just notice that I was awake and I was breathing um, was... Um, was um, um, you know no, no description for it. We, we all have we've we we have all suffered, um, and you know to what degree. What I've come to experience is it doesn't matter. Suffering is suffering, and there's a way out of suffering, and that's what I um, was gifted um, 
on, you know, a, a way of seeing that way out, a way, a simple way where I could um, support others to, um, to, um, to find their own way out of suffering because no one can give us that or, or um, you know, it's something we have to do ourselves. But really a, a tortured, a, a tortured human being. And, and when we're not right with ourselves, we're not right with the world. So I was not um, a great mother. I was the best mother I could be, um, you know, all of that. But my my children and the people around me certainly deserved more than I was able to um, to give. <clears throat> uh, what was the story you were telling yourself at that time? Oh, um, my um, children don't care about me. Life is too hard. There's something the matter with me. Um, other people are happy. Why aren't I? Other people can leave their homes and go out into the world, and and I can't. And um, you know this the terror, just the thought of going out. And of course, now I know what the terror was. Specifically, it's on what I was thinking and believing. In in um, you know, it's it's just that simple. But I certainly did did not know then. Like um, I would think, you know, other people get to um, go outside with their family um, and you know take walks, etc. And and I would see images of people and Navid. It would just strike terror into my heart. Just another person mm. looking at me, and of course, uh, it's a. Uh, it just felt like a big ball of fear. I can separate it out for you in response to your question, but it was um, on and on and on. I, I, I know that that um, my, um, I know that's such a funny phrase, but um, I recall a, a time when my children and husband um, uh, talked me into going somewhere with them and, and I didn't make it. I, I didn't make it, I, I don't know, just, you know, let's just say for the sake of it, um, five or 10 or 15 blocks and before I was just screaming on, in the back seat floorboard, take me home. Mm. And then something happened, right? Yes, then something happened. As yeah. I lay sleeping on the floor, my self-esteem mm. was so low, I didn't believe I deserved a bed. So... Right. I was sleeping on the floor next to my bed, and um, and in hindsight, I could see a cockroach crawled over my foot, and it woke me up. And it woke me up in two ways. One is like we wake up every morning. You know, you sleep, you wake up. And but then I was asleep. I woke up, but there was no identification. And as though I woke up with such a start, there was this, um, it, the mind could not catch up with it. And so in that space, I saw how I created my world, which is the only world that I'm allowed to live in. You know, we all have our own way of seeing the world. That's what I mean by that. But I woke up, I saw how how I created the world. I saw how it was created. And I, um, it, it was, um, it, you know, in that moment, all the, um, all the suffering was gone. And in place of all that darkness was an experience that I, um, you know, in hindsight, um, had never experienced before. And when I say in hindsight, you know, it's, it's identification has never come back since, you know, that's been over 30 years, but it's never come back other than um, a representative, we could say, um, of identity that can never be me or mine. And um, so um, I saw that when I believed my thoughts, I suffered. When I questioned my thoughts, I didn't suffer. And I've come to see this is true for every human being. And... What thoughts in particular um, do you reckon is important or valuable to, to question? Um, because I hear you talk a lot about um, 
freedom from suffering, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't hear you say freedom from pain. Well, you know, uh, even even pain is, um, you know, it's either it, it's either remembered or exaggerated. So where's the pain? Mm. And I hope that doesn't sound trite, like uh, like pain doesn't exist. I'm just inviting people to notice, um, to notice. You know, this would not be a friendly universe if we were inflicted with pain. There is a way out of this, the, that kind of universe, that kind of world. And and for me, um, in in you know what I was shown was inquiry. And um, and I love Navid. There's so many beautiful ways for people to get free, and this is just one that people I invite people to add to the repertoire. And um, you know, for example, on um, you know what thoughts I hear you ask a, a couple of times. So mm. so um, you know if if you're if you're a meditator. And you're sitting, you're still, let's say in the morning, you're sitting in your practice of stillness. And what, what interferes with that? You know, it's, it's, it's silent and the most beautiful things are shown to us in the silent. But then, you know, start, oh, you know, I wonder um, when the alarm's going off, um, I'm going to be late for work. I really um, should have done this and this or that rather than sit here this morning. Um, I wonder what's going on in the office. Um, I won't have time to for breakfast this morning. You know, and and then you know, one at a time, they can just kind of ease in, and so they're filling those those thoughts are filling the space of that that stillness. And for me, right. that's what I invite. I write those down. I won't have time for breakfast, and then go back to the stillness. Um, um, I wonder what they're doing in the office. <laughs> I might write down, there's an office. <laughs> and, mm. and uh, you know, whatever judgments uh, that arise. And then um, you may know that I have um, um, a simple way for people to identify those thoughts as they're sitting as well, just meditating in a specific situation, maybe, um, maybe, um, one of your listeners has had, um, uh, or viewers has had um, an argument um, with their partner, or their child, or someone in the office. Um, but you know that argument. When people go to ByronKatie.com, they can um, find out what exactly, free of charge, to do with a judgment like that. And um, mm. and it's. Um, with judgments like that. So, um, you know, there are questions from one to six. You just sit, meditate in the situation where that argument occurred, for example, and identify the thoughts you were thinking then and bring them mm. into the present moment now on that worksheet. And then, um, and then question them from that experience. You know, the, um, the fourth noble truth and in Buddhism, as I understand it, is um, is there's suffering in the world, discontent, and I think we'd all agree with that. And um, when when you consider time, and the second noble truth is there's a cause to the suffering. Well, when we go back into that meditating in that past situation and the argument, and we're identifying what we were thinking and believing then that. That was the cause of our suffering then. It was the cause of discontent. It was, it's, you know, and I'm responsible for that because it's what I'm thinking and believing that caused my suffering. So this is not bad news. This is really good news. And then that third noble truth is uh, there's a way out of suffering. And that's what I saw on the floor. It just, it was, I began to laugh and I, I, you know, there's that inner thing. The laughter has never stopped. It's just, it was just I saw it. it's just all a joke, and that's something to, <laughs> to that's something to uh, to consider for someone that um, experienced um, consistent deep suffering for over a decade in time. So, so then the, the fourth noble truth. Here's how, and and the work is what's shown to me. So, um, um, so that's what I 
that's what I'm, you know, I know my job well, and that's that's what I do. And as as long as there's an invitation, I continue. So when I'm listening to you right now, I'm thinking about something that just popped up in my mind a few weeks back. And it was something along the line of, it's hard to get the joke when you're the punchline. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, have you been listening right? to uh, Amigo the Devil? No, no. Oh really? Oh, you, you have to look him up. He's a songwriter, and uh, and that's right. almost word for word his um, his uh, lyrics. <laughs> right. So, so what I'm thinking is is you 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 said that uh, this is uh, some kind of a joke, and that 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 you you were freed from 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 suffering. Um, but I'm 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 just thinking about the fact that you 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 didn't have these kind of um, spiritual books or practices around you uh, no, before no, uh, no. the whole cockroach incident so when you when you um, when this thing happened to you um, what what did you do with that information what did you do with the experience how did you put words to it well that's that, that was quite a trick you know if if i just you know if i said that maybe i Um, I'm going to, um, like my husband might say, um, where are you going? And I might say, it thinks it wants a drink of water now because the I was so difficult. And that went on for some time and mm. until I was able to, um, to work through that. And, um, and, and then noticing that every word out of my mouth was a lie. And, um, um, and how do you mean a lie? Well, like, um, you know, Navid, this this really gets um, a little sticky um, and and difficult for some people to hear. But for me, the world is imagined, and not even that. So, um, um, it's it's um, it's if I say I'm I'm on my way to get a drink of water. I have no idea if I'm going to get a drink of water. No idea, even when, let's say, my feet are walking toward the sink. I have no idea without past and future. It is just, it's life is a surprise. And the, the um, you, you just never know who or what is going or where or, so you can, you, you can see That and I didn't know if the ground was going to hold me. The next step, it was you know I was just thrown into this world as a as a newbie, learning, learning what isn't, and um, and loving what is, and you know this is difficult to describe. I hope it's it's helpful, but um, I would say what a beautiful day, and that's a lie to me. You know, it's there's something uh, more beautiful than than that. So it undercuts, you know, what I would refer to as this friendly uni- refer to as this friendly universe. A beautiful right. so day. Oh is... my gosh, that's 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 for starters good because I hadn't seen beautiful days in more than a decade to my experience. So it was. Mm. But still, it's not enough. It undercuts the beauty of our true nature. So I learned. Yeah. So what I'm hearing to, is that. Mm. So so there's something happening um, beyond the the whole um, spectrum of functional concepts and categories. So there's something behind that, and that's the place you went to. Is that yes. correct? Yes. And 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 there's no coming back from that. Um, right. Um, and I have learned to dance. You know, I'm 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 dancing. This is a this is you know one way of 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 saying it is I don't care if it's real or not. What an amazing, what an amazing world. Hmm. What a beautiful world, flawless. So, how long did it take before people started to uh, put categories? Uh, and headlines on your experience with the cockroach. Well, you know, it was um, it was immediate. Um, 
just being with people, just leaving the house and walking and just, uh, oh my gosh, you know, just, just meeting people. And I didn't, you know, people aren't strangers to me. They're, they are, they are who I believe them to be out of my true nature, out of true nature. Um, and, and so it, 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 it was, it really was, um, you know, quickly agoraphobic. You know, your your shades are pulled, your doors are shut, and you you don't answer your phone, and you don't get out of bed, and and oh my gosh! And then when you get out of bed, it's just like oh my god! Oh, it's so, like the depression, and and um, so um, my door was open, and my windows, you know, the sun was shining through, and it was. Um, you know, a fearless state of mind. Um, mm. Fear is on um, any future imagined, um, and depending on what we're thinking and believing in, in, in that state of mind. And that's why I invite people to inquiry and, uh, you know, to, what were your, to identify your thoughts from situations in the past, put them on paper and question them. And again, that, um, that worksheet is on the, um, there are just six questions to fill in and it, and it works really well. And then there's four questions uh, to sit in and meditate in on um, as you look at each of the judgments. So you've been mentioning the four questions. Um, could you please tell us what they are and could you just describe them a little bit? Yes. Um, for example, if I had the thought, um, uh, consider an argument that you've experienced maybe and one of the judgments you had on that person at that mm. time. Mm. Should I do that right now? Yeah, I'm upset yeah. with with that yeah. person because he or she. I'm upset yeah. with her because, or I'm upset with him because, and then um, anchor in that situation in your mind's eye. Mm hmm. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what was the judgment? So the situation was um, a few months back. My fiance uh, chose to leave me, and the judgment was. She shouldn't have. She okay. shouldn't have left me. So she should right. not have left you. Now look at that mm -hmm. situation with her. Is it true that she should not leave you? In the situation, it was true, yes. Okay. Now, um, um, can you absolutely know that it's true that she should not have left you? So now we're meditating in that question. You know, mm. just just taking it in, and um, and we're just looking at it again. And the answer for for your um, viewers is um, or listeners is um, uh, the answer to the first two questions. There are only four. The answer to the first two question two questions is either yes or no. And you just have to wait to be shown as you look at those images of past, future, out of that moment in time with her. No, I can't. I cannot be sure um, that she shouldn't have left me. So, so, so the answer to the second question is no. Okay, so just feel the no. And what a mind opener that is. You know, you've been believing that maybe for three months, and now, you know, a little light is getting in, a little space, mm. just a mm. little more space. You know, it's, it gives you opportunity in, the, in those first two questions to, to see you of the past and you of the future, you know, whatever is shown to you without manipulating it. I ask the question, mm. is it true? Can I really know that it's true? And I get very, very still, and I anchor in that situation, and the answer is shown to me through images and what I'm believing those images to be and, and the meaning I put on them. You know, I'm being shown. So, um, mm. Nanavid, um, the third question, be there now, in that situation with her, notice 
how you react and how how you react when you believe the thought she shouldn't leave you. Yeah. She shouldn't have left you. Mm. Now notice, do you give her the look? So, do you do you do you yeah. beg or do you get strong and manly? Do you hide your feelings? Are you vulnerable? Um, look at your um, your 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 facial expressions. Your I mean, how do you mm. react? What happens? Just witness when you believe the thought she should not have left you. Um. I go to this very closed off, cold, emotionally um, poor uh, place. I would say I I shut off. Yeah. Um, yeah. I harden. Yeah. Yeah. So look at her. Look at you. That's what she's seeing. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So she sees me shutting off, right? Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. if if you can see it in your mind's eye, and you're being authentic about it, you know, in other words, as you're you're seeing it as closely yourself as closely as you can in that situation, you're the only one that can. Mm. Then, then she's watching the same thing in that situation, time and place. Mm. Now go to a, a doorway, um, like as though you're just standing in a doorway watching that. Now watch her watch you. Mm. And watch you. Mm. And watch how you treat her. When you think the thought, she should not have left me. Right. Okay, you see it? So, so in that situation, this is the last question, in that situation, who would you be without the thought, she should not have left me? Now, look at her without putting, you know, like post-its, we write messages on and we put them on the on the refrigerator or something. Just take that off of her. She should not have left mm. me. And look at her. Look at her. Look at you. And just stay there until, you know, a, a little compassion, a little, just, just notice. In other words, yourself is just dropping out of it and you're, seeing her without your story onto her. Mm. Right. So, when I believed the thought she shouldn't have left me, I was shutting off and I was punishing her. So when I no longer thought that I could um, hear her I, connect yeah, with her. I could hear her, but... I, yeah, but I, I was also it, able to you, be more soft and, and, yeah, and connected, right? Connected with her, with her and myself yeah. as well. Yeah. And you're all about yeah. communication. This is how to be a good listener. Mm. I have... It, it's, you know, for people who sit in inquire as a practice, you know, this this in the meditation and with these questions in there um it's um it it's um oh my it's um it's a selfless way of living life and it's also a fearless way of living life and in that we are the best communicators it's like it's all there i mean your whole communication is there now and it's the opposite of what you were believing on to her. You're, you now you're in a, a, a position to listen compassionately, and so let's let's turn it let's turn it around. Let's turn it around. She should not have left me. Mm -hmm. uh, so find an opposite. Yeah. And and for your listeners, these turnarounds are um, we find opposites and then we try them on. We're not exchanging one belief for another. 
we're meditating in opposites to see in that situation, do they fit? It's like going in a, into a shoe store. You find a fabulous pair of shoes, but you don't want to buy them until you see. Do they fit? Are they comfortable? So that's all we're doing. Mm. We're trying them on. So she should not have left me. Yeah. Find an opposite. What would that be? Right. We're going perspective shopping. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. She shouldn't have left me, so she should have left me. Okay, so what's an example in that situation? She should have left me. If that's the conclusion she's drawn, and if that's what she has, uh, if that if that's an insight or a decision she have reached, so she should leave me. If that's what she believes, that's exactly what she should do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're. Yeah. It's it's you know it's it, is that right? You know if that's right with you. You know just experience it, feel it through all of these four questions and turnarounds. The emotions, you know the the emotions are what we feel first, but we really don't experience mm -hmm. emotions until we um and until we're believing the thought and seeing the images of past future that would be like cementing them in in a way that we would believe against our nature anyone as off base when we consider what they're mm. thinking and believing if i if i believed what that person believed i'd do the same thing we don't you know we don't believe on purpose it's like we're robots just walking around with these these things that we have, these thoughts we have and beliefs we haven't tested for ourselves. No one teaches us how to think for ourselves. Well, I would say how to question what we believe and uh, go beyond what we believe the world to be and people in the world to be. She should not have left me. She should have left me. And and look mm. at you in that situation. Is that some and how you reacted when you believed the thought? Is how often does she experience that? And mm. and it's not right or wrong. We're just noticing. You're meeting her, the partner she was with, all that time. Right. So something happens when you stand outside yourself. So something happens when you stand outside the dynamic of the relationship as well. So you could, and that's, you, I, I can see her, I can see myself from like a camera three perspective. Yes. Like the third camera perspective. Yeah. You have suspended the judgment yeah. long enough to heal your blindness. Hmm. Because it's also a matter of perspective, right? Because the first camera is through my eyes. And then I don't see myself. That's right. You're in those, she, right. she should not leave. She should not have left me. You know, how do you react and believe yeah. the thought? You see images of a future. You don't even know it's going on. You see you alone, you without her, you, you, mm. you know, and the inconvenience in your life or on the, mm. the lack of love in your life. You see, you see those images of you without her and all of yeah. the and, and, and people don't understand that, that, uh, the cause of suffering. But when you believe the ego is going to offer that up. Or, 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 or it, it cannot keep identity. And you see images of the past. You, you, you see the two of you, you're so happy, all those wonderful times. And, and then the future of, of, of being sad without, you know, and that's what's going on. How do you react when you believe the thought she should not have left me? Past future, past future. You watch the movie, then you react out of out of that you know you want a little fear and terror and get a future you want a little on on a little depression and <laughs> get a past <clears throat> so now do you see another turnaround she should not have left me <clears throat> so i'm thinking about the fact that i 
shut off my 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 own presence my my own connection with with myself and with her so maybe i shouldn't have left me okay uh, so drop the maybe on the floor res- res- respect it I we're, t- we're testing i shouldn't have left me yeah, yeah we're just trying on the shoes mm. i should not have left me yeah yeah and you did you you know there you were in the past there you were in the future it's all about you and and i mean look at that image that that makes a minimum of 3 of you there you are in the past so happy with her there you are in the future so sad without her and and um yeah. and so there's the you of the past the you of the future the you standing there fully asleep lost in the dream just being bounced around by emotions and confusions we're like 3 year olds yeah. and and we wonder what's yeah, the, and what's a lot the of matter fear as well yes and yeah. and it turns out to be all her fault and and yeah. th- there goes um there goes connection mm-hmm. it's it's lost and mm-hmm. and and you're the disconnect in my life no one can disconnect with me only i can i if if there's a disconnection i have to take personal responsibility for that because it it has to be what i'm thinking and believing about you about me about the world it it, it has to be it has to be imagination you know it's is we're connected by birthright by divine right by um Well, I, you know, we're we're seeing it clearly here. You were together and who separated you? Was it her? No. Not in not in your world. You're the disconnector. And yeah, and so there's a a lot of emphasis on um on responsibility and uh and on the individual, right? Well, if I'm so if, I I, if I'm to have the ha- well, you can question what you believe, and and mm. be, and it gives you a way of seeing authentically, and that's your mm. heart. That's by nature, and any time mm. that you are not connected, then you have a way of looking to yourself. You can identify what you're thinking and believing on that worksheet is where I'd like to take people because it's what I saw you know it's it's um uh, on the worksheet to fill in those six things are i'm angry because and i want i want her to and um and she should or she shouldn't or i need her to and i don't ever want to and she is not fair and done done in that situation it's a way of collecting the cause of all of our suffering and disconnect so we write it down then we we question that and the the entire process you can't fill in a worksheet like that with with um it takes stillness it mm. it, it takes stillness so meditators um um you know this just goes into that brilliant way of being and noticing and it it's it, it it's like it was it's for for i uh, it, it's for people like me you know in a hurry <laughs> just cutting to the chase looking to myself okay she should not have left me i should not have left me you see right. any other opposites any opposites to I shouldn't have left to she shouldn't she, she should oh, not have she, left she, me. So That's all I see. Yeah. The two you found that's all I see. Yeah. And and maybe your audience yeah. can see more that very often happens. Now, on um, it stems from a I think it stems from a more um general concept of people should not leave me. Right? Yeah, I, and and of course they should. And and I mean so that could be a turnaround as well so people should leave me if yes, they like to so, if they want to so she should leave me 
was your opposite, yeah. was one of your opposite. Now you will yeah. find, which you already have, that spills over to everyone in your life. You yeah. work with one concept yeah. on one person, mm. and and it, it it flows into every apparent person in your life, in your world. And so it appears you're just working on one person with one judgment, but it, it doesn't work that way. It enlightens the mind. Because it stems from some kind of belief. It opens up the space. We, we believed it, and now our mind mm. is open to something else. Mm. Now, uh, my husband um, should not leave me because he hasn't. But if he wants to leave, <laughs> if he wants to leave me, then how do I react when I believe the thought? What am I going to do? You know, force him to be with someone he doesn't want to be with, and then I call it love? Mm. Not, mm. not a chance. Right. In one way, it's accepting reality as it is. Right. So. Um, I'm, well, it's it's a it's a you know we don't have to, but we can meet it with understanding, uh, which opens the entire space. Mm. But uh, but anything short of that is war. Yeah, and and that's what I'm thinking about when I'm when I'm in this process right now. I'm thinking that fighting reality is the war, and and the the result of that yeah. is the suffering. Yeah. So I'm and, I'm and thinking you know, about it, it makes you a dictator. Yeah. Yeah, we think, oh, we're the last people in the world. No, no, look to oneself. I look around the world and, and notice dictators, and what do I have in common with them? You know, all I have to do is judge them and open the space, and there's one, you know, through these questions and meditating in them, and it leaves one less dictator in the world, one kinder human being, one, one human being with a little more understanding. You know, um, after the Vietnam War, um, there were some soldiers stuck in the jungle and they didn't believe that the war was over. So so there's this one soldier, I think he was hiding up in a tree. He was, you know, protecting his post, standing his ground up in the tree. And, and I think even his lieutenant came to, to tell him, I think maybe a year, two years after the war ended, he was yelling at him that the war was over. He uh, could not believe it. Yeah. I think about that guy. Yeah. Because there's there's something to that that, that resonates with me a lot because I, I come from a from an upbringing and, and a belief that life is a struggle. I think actually my, my, my father told me that when I was a kid that life is a struggle, then mm -hmm. maybe 10 years ago, uh, a friend of mine who is a very um, wise uh, person, he, he asked me a question. Um, I, I, I believe the question was, so what could your life be if it wasn't a struggle? Hmm. It, you know, that's like saying, who would you be without your story? Yeah. That life is a struggle. Yeah, exactly. And I remember I was frustrated and, and angry with him because of the question, because it, it planted a lot of doubt in me and it made me, um, it had me um, uh, confront my old beliefs and my old stories. Yeah. And struggling and yeah. being and suffering as well. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so that, um, that fourth question, which that's, that is what it adds up to. That for the mm. question, just as um, people who sit in this work as a practice, those questions become alive, just like, just like you, your mind, your whole mind opened up, and it was a little, little weird at first. You know, who, who, who would I be without the thought? Life is a struggle, mm. and my goodness, it's like a whole new world. Mm. But it's also about letting the old world go it's also about letting the old beliefs go and I'm, I'm thinking about what you said in the beginning you said that you don't feel sadness and and sadness for me is 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 the emotion that appears when i let things go so so how how can that be if if we're letting go of the war how can we not feel sadness mm -hmm. 
Well, I don't. Um, I I don't see sadness as a terrible thing. I see it as as a very yeah. auth- authentic thing to experience and mm-hmm. um, and yeah. to sit in it and allow it. Um, you know, feelings have a right to life. Emotions have a right to live as as they arrive. You know, as they show up, and to honor that. You know, there's there's nothing out of place. It's it's all geared for us, and 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 mm. just to. You know, wherever the sadness arises, um, to fill in one of those worksheets or just experience it. And um, again, people who who um, become familiar with these questions, on um, on um, it's it's like your mind is here to enlighten you once you. Is it true is kind of built into your system or who would I be without it is built into your system or noticing how you're reacting and then going back to what are you believing? Right. Because, you know, God isn't right. striking you fearful or reactive or angry. There's no puppeteer going on. It's uh, we're living in, a, in, in an illusion until we understand how to question what we're believing and mature on this planet. And and some of us learn the hard way, and this is a shortcut. Hmm. So it's not about not feeling the sadness. It's about not identifying with it and not believing that it's true so you can still sense it, right? Yeah, well, it, uh, what is it about for me if I'm feeling sadness? Don't you, if you're feeling sadness, don't you want to know the source? Well, the source is what you're mm. thinking and believing. There it is. And then you just bring right. that source onto paper and just meditate in. Is it true? Mm. How do I react when mm. I believe the thought? Who I'd be without it? And then to turn the thought around, test it, try it on, wake you up. Mm. Yeah. I, I I hear you talk about waking up. Do you believe that's what happened to you uh, with the whole cockroach well, uh, situation? You know, I don't judge it i i just um i i honor it i um i respect it i keep it alive i've um, i've met people mm. who have had at least experiences at least as powerful as i describe mm. and they want to mm. know what happened you know i lost it mm. and but i was gifted with a way of um of um, a, a way of you know, I saw how the world was created in 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 that moment on on the floor. Mm. It, I was I was you know it it's it, no identification whatsoever. And then I saw there was a window, and then I saw there was a ceiling and a floor, and out the window th- there were clouds, and and I began to laugh. It's just like I saw what created it. It, it it was completely unidentified and everything else was too until i believed i believed it existed and named it i it's you you can't have both like you have an image if it doesn't have a name you don't even know what it is for example if you're a little child and someone says um this is an apple you just go, you know, like children, goo goo ga ga, or, or whatever it is, you know. Mm. But until you believe, there'll be one moment there. For example, your mother says for the one or father one millionth time, you know, uh, you want an apple, or this is an apple, mm. and then the moment you believe, you've seen your first apple. You may be four years old <laughs> in time. Mm. I mean, you can't take that experience out of your head and touch it when when you were believed that um, she shouldn't have left you. You you can't touch it. That's not real. That's not reality. Mm. So I'm, I'm not. I'm actually questioning the name the name of the situation or or the framing of it or the or the added value to what it is the category of the experience, uh, as with the apple the the apple is there but it doesn't need to be named an apple or judged as an apple right and well you have to believe you're a you before you can see any object any apparent object yeah right <laughs> all right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> got, got so 
uh, when I when I'm listening to different conversations and and interviews with with you, I often hear you mention that that people like Eckhart Tolle is is the what and what you do with your, the work is is the how. I don't hear you mentioning the why. And I and I would just say grace. And what do you mean by why? And people like Eckhart, you know, they're that 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 beauty, that pointing to that we all understand. It's but what about the rest of us? How? And 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 so this was shown to me so that we can all hear people like Eckhart and all the deers that 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 can point to it at a higher level. Mm. Yeah, so I think my question is is um if if Eckhart is pointing and something uh, to go to or or to be closer to and you're helping us with the vehicle, I'm I'm thinking about the the purpose of the trip, right? So the why I'm asking about is uh why should we do it? Okay, and and I would say no one has to do it. Hmm. It's, it's not mandatory. Hmm. You know, we can live and die in our identities, and um, on you know that's that's how it looks in 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 this world. And um, on you know before this moment, and on. Um, Already after this moment, um, it's nothing more than a, a fantasy. Like if you um, if you look at this moment now, you can't. It's gone. Hmm. Yeah. So because I can imagine, I can imagine when you when you you're out doing and the work and and spreading the word. Um, um, there's. A lot of resistance and and there's a lot of triggers uh, when people question their stories and their uh, concepts and categories. Um, is there any patterns? Is there anything that reoccurs uh, when you, uh, of these triggers? Well, you know, um, uh, it takes an open mind, and for me, an open mind is a state of grace. And um, people who, whose minds are not open to the question, on on why would they ask the question? And and that's all as it should be. Right. So if they're not ready, they they can't go there. Yes. Uh, I, yeah. I I I um, on and but but what is beautiful. Um, to me is my understanding and it's I've been testing it for more than three decades now is um, um, none of us hold more wisdom than another it's just that what we're believing over that it's it's like fog or smog or fake news like she should not have left me it turned out to be fake news mm. or life is a burden you know, it turned out to be not as true as as uh, and and in my life, um, I've come to see that life as a burden is laughable. You'd have to have a pass for that, and mm. and that would cheat you of 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 this beautiful moment, on um, you know, of our time like right here, right now, which is all there is. So not to miss it. I I heard you tell a story once in a in a in a podcast which was very fascinating to me um because there was this man who visited your house uh with an axe who had a different perspective of uh your work right with an axe a a, a, a gun yes an axe—that's it. Gun, that, right? Yeah, an axe is a new one, but you know, life is yeah. what it is. It was a gun. Yeah, and mm. um, and yeah, he was. Uh, what happened? Well, 
You know, it's been so many years now. It's um, he um, um, and it was in my house. It wasn't out in the desert, huh? I have a couple of gun stories, but anyway, in the house. All right. Okay. I think it was your house. Yeah. In the house, he was um, he was um, an, an ex policeman from. Um, I, I guess it's okay to say from. No, I, I won't say from where, but um, um, but rough and tough was what he was trying to get across to me, and and he said that he didn't recognize his wife anymore, that she had been working with me, and um, that um, she is not who he married. That um, and what I what I learned was she had no cause to argue with him anymore, and so he was very thrown off and and for him that was how they communicated and and um and you know it sometimes we we just argue and that is our love affair you know that's how we do it and i think that he was absent that and he said if i didn't leave her alone that he was going to um to kill me he had friends in town that would take care of it that uh, it never get found out and um and um, you know, as he's holding this gun, and and um, and I said that was up to his wife, and and um, and uh, that um, I just you know that that I don't ever invite her, that she calls, and um, and I see how much he loves her and how much he misses her, and um, you know that whole relationship. And um, and you know it's it's been so many years. I'm mostly just imagining what I would have said. But the the one in the desert when the man put the 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 gun in my stomach and said he was going to to pull the um, the freaking but that wasn't the word. He's going to pull the freaking trigger on and he was going to kill me and um, on and. So without a future, is fear possible? Even a nanosecond future, is it possible to fear? So instead of a future, and I don't do these things on purpose, it's just I've got a lot of inquiry on experience. But I saw the clouds and the, the beautiful the beautiful night. Oh my God, it was so beautiful, and the the moon, and and then there was enough moon I could even see his, you know, somewhat of his uh, his eyes, and and he looked so frightened. And I had the thought, I hope he doesn't do that to himself. And um, and so you know, it's a kind of falling in love. It's a kind of loving what is, and. Uh, and anything less than that would have cost me the last few moments of my life. You know, it's it's like dying in hell. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, he's going to kill me. What about my children? Oh my God, I'll never see my husband. Oh my God, oh my God. But you know, even if he pulled the trigger, Navid, do I even know it hurts? Or am I imagining that it's going to hurt? Hmm. It's... Um, you know, it's it's very exciting not to know. If he pulls the trigger, how do I even know it hurts? I've never been shot before. And even if I've been shot before, I'm just projecting that it would feel that way again. So I'm connected. Right. And and I have a lot of experiences with, um, as love and life would have it, of, you know, stories like this. Because I... Um, I um I'm not careful in my life and and so I have the privilege of meeting of meeting us as we are without trying to change it or or um manipulate it. Hmm. I never hear you talk that much about politics or um the whole economic game or or the environment or uh, AI or robots or <laughs> anything. Yeah. Um, well, you know, we like are, that. we are virtual. Like, did you hear me say we are virtual? No. 
<laughs> Good. Okay. So um, that's life in the present. Mm. But if you heard me say we are virtual, if you heard me just say we are virtual, um, then um, you had to have seen me in your mind's eye from the past, even if you're looking at me now. That's that's virtual. And that you that sees it is also virtual because you saw me in the past, it seems. Yeah, but I mean, do you read the newspaper? And, and, oh, and, and, I and love when it. Oh, my do. gosh, what, yes. I, what, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, what, what, hap what happens yeah, when you do that? What, I, I, what are your thoughts? Um, edu education happens. I get to see what's going on in the world. I get I, I get to I get to understand it. I I I wouldn't be you know um, free doesn't mean um, uh, not being in touch with the the world you find yourself in. Right. So uh, yeah, and 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 you know I I look at at the news and and I. You know, if you had questions, I could I could answer, but uh, I understand news. I understand the nature of mean? news. I I understand news. Well, give me give me a, a like a current event or something, or or a judgment on some exactly. Something. So I'm I'm going to give you an example. So um, one of the big issues right now is the fear of artificial intelligence, and a lot of experts and a lot of uh, scientists are uh, actually agreeing that we should be uh, worried or, or, or afraid of it. Um, I'm, um, I'm just curious on, on what your perspective is on such a, mm. such a matter. Well, I would say we, we could get a lot more done absent, absent the fear. Then we come, you know, th those of us that are qualified um, those people that are qualified and really, really, really smart in, in that area, not to fear it, but to um, do what they can do about it. And, mm. and good luck with that. Because, you know, we're already, um, for me, the experiment is already done. It's, it's uh, mm. um, my life is 100% virtual. And uh, and then if we right. say in this life the body breaks down the body uh, arms break um, uh, bodies starve to death um, bodies um, are you know et cetera et cetera uh, and my job is to is to recognize is it true. And to sit in that. And you know, sweetheart, all the suffering that has ever happened on this planet is in the past. Now that is, um, that is, you know, if, if, I, if I clap my hands, if you believe I clap my hands, you're in a virtual universe. You've got a virtual Byron Katie and you've got a virtual you. Mm. Now, if 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 I am taken over by um, by robots, the um, the worst going to happen is what I'm thinking and believing. So you know, I, there's no accident that that yeah. I receive this and in in this um, apparent world, um, it's um, mm. it's you know, a life of suffering is. Um, and and I don't mean this disrespectfully, but it is one hundred percent um um virtual reality we're sitting in, just walking down the street, waking up in the morning, any given apparent moment in time. So I'm connecting two things at the moment. I'm connecting um what you said about the gun against your stomach in the desert, uh, and I'm actually thinking about the fear of AI as as a bigger symbolic gun put to the stomach of humanity, and your um, perspective is that it's basically the same thing. 
Well, well, is that correct? What I really, yes, and um, and and how could it not be? And um, mm-hmm. and also, it's nothing that I say. Um, I I can't imagine saying anything. I I I'd want people to believe what I what I'm about is hear what I say. Don't believe it. Question it. Mm. You know, do the right. do the work. Think for yourself. That's that's do the work. Yeah, mm. it's 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 what it's about. Mm. The work meaning, you know, these four questions and and opposites. And 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 as one does, the work is is looking back on on thoughts and situations and and questioning them. But I mean, in the in the or when the, you're in or, the situation, w- w- yeah. When you're in the situation, are you, are you prepared? You know, and that's what this preference yeah, will, exactly. will give you. Mm. You're, you're you're prepared for yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because it's it's. So I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's easier to to reflect back and question yourself in the situation, but also have the perspective, the third camera perspective of, of yourself afterwards because it already happened. But the the hard work is is when you're there, right? Not not when you're you know, on Skype with Byron Katie or in a workshop with other people doing the work. It's when life happens, when you actually need to 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 step into the fire. Yes. Are you prepared? And and mm. this is a daily practice mm. prepares us because, you know, when 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 yeah. we're fearful, look how like let's say what you experienced with your um with with this lady wanting to break up with you. Um, look at the look on your face. Look, you were adversarial. What does adversarial mean? Well, I'm not sure if I have the right word, but you were not receptive. Mm. All right. Yeah. And and so let's say the work is your practice and she wants to break up with you. I mean, if you love her, aren't you excited about her being with someone as fabulous as you? Don't you want to meet him? I mean, that's amazing. Mm. And 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 if you love her, don't you want her in your life? Mm. And don't you want to support her? Do you want to miss a moment of 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 your time with her and and phone calls and texting and I mean just have her in your life and because you're interested because you mm. love her because you you really do she's not something you uh, your ego is using to be comfortable in mm. you know personalities don't love they want something mm. that's not love right our nature is love and not to support uh, not to support my husband to leave me if that's what he wants to do that's crazy that's all about me yeah so if 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 the concept i mean if if the na- nature uh, of us and uh, whatever behind this is love there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of shit in the way there's a lot of concepts and and programming in the way that that is needs to you know but we could, but we could oh. say, Navid, only in you. How do you mean? Well, if you're believing all of that onto us, look to yourself. Mm. Mm. Right. You don't know us. We are who you believe us to be. We can never be more or less. You know, mm. people listening to this podcast. You know, they're. You know, if 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 there is a hundred thousand people, there are hundred thousand different Navids, a hundred thousand different Byron Katies. Mm. You know, my my uh, I'm I'm all about. Do I love the world? If if you know, it it's like what I'm believing the world to be. I'm responsible for. If I'm not connected again, I have to look to myself. I'm guilty mm. of what I um of of anything I would accuse another of being. But if I question that, there goes and I really run deep with it, 
then there goes that, um, you know, the there goes the world of a world of enemies, perceived enemies. Mm. And the mm. last thing that I would want people to perceive as I'm talking is that this is um, that this is um, something that we can make ourselves believe. It's uh, like like loving the world is something we can make ourselves do. I had to come to it, and I'm watching. I'm watching countless numbers of people now come to the same thing. So it's not just for one Byron Katie. It's for those of us that are truly interested in peace, where we're not going to do this huge, big change in the world. You know, we're responsible for our own world. And and we come out as kinder human beings. And the effect of that is immeasurable. So it's done from where we are, at home, in our job. And um, and and I can't get away with creating um, like a, a mean-minded world without feeling guilt. And guilt is the cause of uh, of all the addictions we're experiencing in the world with our drugs and alcohol, etc. And um, it's it's um, you know when the work found me, it's like my insane choices quit me. The, the choices I was making um, around addiction just looked ludicrous, and and that is the um, you know laughable, and uh, it's um, and mine happened mine happened quickly, and I'm watching it happen all over the world. It's becoming a kinder and kinder world for. Um, for people sitting in the practice. And, you know, I have a nine-day school for the work coming up in Europe, too. And, um, and um, you know, this summer. And, um, and I really look forward to that. And in the States, I have one coming up in November. So, <laughs> so I'm really happy to, to both hearing you, you speak, but also knowing that you're spreading your practice and spreading the capacity of, of holding space for these kind of uh, inquiries. Um, and we're uh, almost out of time. Uh, and I know you have a busy schedule as well. I just want to, um, again, uh, extend my welcome to, to Sweden in the beginning of, of July. We're really looking forward to, to have you here. Um, you know, that's, there, that's uh, really, anything, I'll, be, I'll be there July 6th and 7th in Stockholm, and I yeah. love that mm -hmm. event. It's, um, and in Macau, it's just, um, I really look forward to um, being in what feels like home to me. Mm. Yeah, we'll make sure to make it even more like home this time. So is there anything else you'd like to um, to tell our viewers and our listeners before we wrap this mm -hmm. up? Oh, you know that that love is the power, and anything I believe in my secret world, I believe about someone. If it's if it's if it if it's not connecting or kind, then I have a little work to do. And um, that uh, no human being has more wisdom than another. So it's not something that you don't already have that um, these questions are taking you to. It's just making visible. Um, what you already what you already know in your hearts just making a parent yeah thank you for that and thank you so much for being on the how can we podcast oh thank you Navid. you are um um you are so much fun to be with and i loved your questions and and my time with you so be well my mm. friend mm. you too <laughs> Oh. Take care, and I see you in Stockholm. Okay, I look forward to okay, it. Thank you.